Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you my thoughts, opinions and a quick review on the LTD EC256. <laughs> Right guys, so before we get into the spec sheet and the playthrough of this rather beautiful guitar, I just want to talk about the price point because for me, the price point is what is so good about this guitar. I've just looked online now and Toman have this guitar at 459 to buy in the UK. That is extremely affordable. And also what I want to say about this guitar, that even though it is 459, you know, it's under 500 pounds here in the UK, I found myself picking up this guitar a hell of a lot. So you know like when you just want a guitar to quickly jam on for 10 minutes here, there and everywhere, you know, maybe not even plugged in, you know, just a guitar to grab and get hold of. I found myself picking up this guitar more than some of my other guitars that are at like a thousand pounds plus. Obviously, I'm not trying to convince you that this guitar is better or as good as those guitars with the high, high spec sheets. But what I am saying is that there's something very comfortable about this guitar it's very loud when it's not plugged in. Um, it resonates really well. It's really well built and it's just a joy to play. <laughs> This is not my first experience with an EC256 or an LTD guitar. Definitely not my first experience with an EC body shape. And what I want to say is that there's something about the EC Eclipse body shape that I absolutely love. It's so comfortable for me. In fact, I would say that this is the most comfortable and my most preferred shape out of all single cut bodies that I've ever played. This guitar has actually made me want um, I don't know if you've seen it, but the EC1000 with the Floyd Rose on it and the Fishman Fluence pickups, it's really made me want that guitar quite bad. I already did, I've been looking at it now for a good year or so, and I already wanted that guitar, but now I've played this and enjoyed this so much, it's made me want that guitar even more. <laughs> This guitar does not feel toy-like at all, despite the price point. That's the major thing for me. I've played guitars that are on the seven, eight hundred pound mark, and they felt a bit toy-like, a bit cheap, not really very strong or sturdy. This feels like a strong, well-made instrument. It doesn't feel like a toy. The build quality of this guitar is really, really good. The binding is so neat around the edges. The LTD logo is super, super tidy. <laughs> Right, so let's talk about the specs. The first spec I want to mention, and the most impressive spec in my opinion, is the fact that it's a set neck mahogany body and mahogany neck. It feels pretty weighty, but it's not super heavy, 
but it feels like a strong well-made guitar one thing i will say is that a lot of guitars a lot of single cuts that you buy at this price point or below are usually not mahogany when you look into it they've usually used some other wood and for me the mahogany neck and the mahogany body is a classic combination and even the inlays are really super super tidy it is a Jatoba fretboard. The EC256 that I'm holding right now has 22 frets. It's a classic design. It looks classic. And let's face it, anybody that knows anything about classic single cuts know that black and gold is a combination that never fails. <laughs> The neck is called a thin U. Now what I will say is I have played some thin U's that are a bit thinner to the touch than this guitar. Sometimes a gloss finish on a guitar can make you feel like a neck is a bit larger than it actually is. It's not uncomfortably large, but it is. Uh, there's quite a lot of neck there, you know, in your hand. It is a thin U shape, but I don't feel like it being a U rather than a C has slowed me down at all on, on my playing. <laughs> guitar is very addictive to play like I've said I'm picking up this guitar a hell of a lot all the time I seem to reach for this guitar above all my other guitars and I don't quite understand why so what I would say is when we talk about playability this guitar is extremely playable and that is good for you as a guitarist because you want a guitar that kind of uh, screams at you to pick it up on the back here as with all ECs there is a cutaway around the back of the horn there it's really really nice um, it does help you out up high Obviously, until you upgrade to the higher EC models, you don't get the neck joint totally cut away. On some higher models like the 401 and obviously the, the 1000, you get the neck cut right away. So this classic uh, neck joint is, is totally gone and it just, it just graduates slowly into the body. Um, for those of you that want a classic look and a classic guitar, obviously you're going to want this neck joint. And to be honest with you, when you sat down, it doesn't really get in the way. It doesn't get in my way that much. The machine heads on this guitar are just LTD regular machine heads, but I do like the shape of the keys on there. One thing I will say is they feel a bit vintagey, and what I mean by that is that when you're tuning, you have to move them quite far before anything kind of happens, but I think that's just in keeping with the rest of the guitar, to be honest. This is a 42mm nut width on the guitar. The nut is nothing special, they're just a plastic nut, but it is pretty sturdy and it is pretty big compared to some other guitars that you would find at this price point. The pickups in this guitar are ESP LH150s, and what I will say about these pickups is that they are very nice sounding, very clear, very articulate, quite fat for all those guys that are chugging out there. Um, I did find myself turning up the gain on my setups, on my amps, just a touch, probably about half a notch, maybe a full notch on the dial, just to get a bit more gain out of the guitar, but that's not a bad thing, you know. Um, the pickups are definitely usable, and I would say that you could go out with your guitar and gig with it, no problem. It's well built, and the pickups would do their job. While we're talking about the pickups in this guitar, you can split them here by pulling out this control here. At the end of the video, I will show you this guitar uh, through something some kind of clean tone and I will go through the different pickups and the different coil splits <laughs> A 
Another thing I want to mention before I go guys is the balance of this guitar. I've stood up with this guitar on a strap and it balances really, really well. That is probably part of the reason why it's so comfortable to play on your knee at home. Um, when you stand up, the neck sits up at about that angle, which is about right. There's nothing worse than neck dive and a lot of single cuts these days do seem to be getting produced with neck dive. <laughs> Like I said, I can't believe how good this guitar is for the price. I already knew that ESP and LTD made really good quality instruments. I'm already quite a big fan of the ECs and the MHs. I'm hoping to get some more ESP or LTDs on the channel for sure. Before you go, please check out below if you're going to buy this guitar. There is a Toman affiliate link in the description. There is also an Anderton's affiliate link in the description. When you go through those links and buy anything at all, any gear whatsoever, it helps contribute towards the channel. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching guys. Please, please do not forget to go down below in the comments and let me know what you think of this guitar. I think it's absolutely great. Mm-hmm.